The restaurant chain is feeling the heat. This is our certified humane, raised without antibiotics or steroids, um, beef that we're, we're serving at Earl's. Beef from Kansas, not Alberta, the birthplace of Earl's and where beef is branded into the provincial identity. But Earl's big appetite is for beef designated certified humane, and it seems Alberta doesn't have enough of it. So the problem wasn't the quality, the problem was the quantity. Earl's will be the first restaurant chain in North America to serve certified humane beef in all of its restaurants. As Earl's president explained in this video, the restaurant is now adhering to a very specific process of raising and slaughtering cattle, endorsed by U.S. livestock scientist Temple Grandin. Her slaughterhouse procedures have won praise from animal welfare groups and aim to provide cattle with peace and comfort right up to the end. Earl's move, though, has left Alberta farmers fuming. To insinuate that what we're doing now is not humane is, that's, that's irreprehensible in my mind. Egged on by the powerful beef lobby, the social media pile-on has been intense. I urge every Albertan to boycott Earl's. Your faux concern is an unjustified attack on Alberta's way of life. The restaurant says critics have the wrong idea. We know that the ranches are raising their beef in a humane way. We know that they're doing that. What they're not doing is they're not following strict protocols that they need to do. The Alberta Cattlemen's Association says it's working on guidelines that either meet or exceed the certified humane designation in the treatment of animals. The Canadian beef industry, sometimes it has the cowboy hats on a little bit too tight. <laughs> so this cow calved. But this BC cattle rancher who's won awards for his sustainable practices says producers have been slow to react to changing consumer views on hormones. Consumers have been making cho choices and changes over the last 10 years with social media and internet now. People are low on all the information and we know scientifically that beef that is produced with outgrowth hormones and antibiotics is more flavorful, has more consistent tenderness. The Kansas beef and hamburgers apparently don't taste any different than the ones from Alberta. So Earl's may be betting that its customers care more about how their beef is raised than where it's raised. Diana. Thanks Chris.